back to working on my money pit. In case you didn't see the last video, I picked this thing up on Craigslist for 1500 bucks, and that's basically where we are. It needs seats, carpet. It probably doesn't need a deck, but good luck gluing new carpet down to that old rotted thing. So I'm going to change the deck. It's going to need a transom, all new wiring, new motor, new top, basically everything but those pontoons and the framing. So I forgot to record an intro video, but I have already ripped out the seats, so I'll show you that footage now. All right, they all fit in one little truck bed, so that was good. Off to the dump they go. And now that the seats are out, we can go ahead and continue with the rest. The plan is to pull the top off this front railing and basically everything. Um, I just had a tetanus shot, so now I won't be too concerned with working on this rust bucket. And if you can think of any more derogatory terms, such as money pit for a boat, please let me know. Urban Dictionary doesn't really show much. Apparently boat is a good drug term. I don't know, I wasn't in drug school for very long, so I don't know these things. But if you know of any funny t slang words for a boat, you let me know. Alright, let's get this tin can apart. Looking better already. Yeah, it's getting dark. That's it for now. Alright, it's a nice cool 106 degrees out. So the bolts are all heated up so they shouldn't have any stuck ones. So, time to get more railing off. Alright, all the bolts on that side should be out. Next side. Well, we're about halfway done. So some people have said this pontoon boat's kind of junk and I kind of got taken. And I kind of thought, like, oh, it's not that bad, I don't know what you're talking about. But now, now I see it. This thing looks just like a pile of trash. All right, pontoon boat is in the garage, which means I'm out of the heat. Uh, we could drop it about 20 degrees difference from outside to in here, and that's a pretty big difference when you're over 100 degrees. So now what I gotta do is go out and grind out all of the stuck or stripped hardware. I got a, got a few of them, but it's manageable.
right, bolts are all cleaned off. Now we're gonna lay plywood, the decking onto this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that the overhang stays even as we go so that when we get to the end, it doesn't taper off to one edge or the other, and we know we're straight. Then we can come back, screw the first one down, and then all we have to do is go one after the other with the, with the rest of it. Yep, what do you say? That is a lot of plywood. I did not think this boat was that big. This thing is huge. So my father and I, to put this deck on, we, we used these screws, these self-tapping uh, wood to metal screws. They worked okay. The problem is they would randomly just strip out. We uh, determined there was nothing we were doing wrong, or I was, because I was doing all the drilling. It was just kind of a, a luck of the screw. Sometimes they'd go in and then just spin. So, I don't know. But for the most part, they worked. Price was right, available at Home Depot, same day. So use them if you want, or you could buy, you know, actual pontoon screws, which are basically the same thing. Uh, I did do some research on the screws to use. Stainless steel was not advised. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to get into that later. And poof, magic red deck. So two things were done here that we didn't show. The belt sander here was run down where the plywood plywood meat so it's a nice smooth transition there is nothing there no little lip or crack or anything that should add to the overall finish of the carpet when it's down and if you've ever tiled a shower you're probably familiar with this red guard stuff it's a uh, waterproof paint on material works great holds water out theory is this will help protect the deck for well quite a while at least that's the hope and did a little test sample here with some red guard and some carpet glue and our carpet and it absolutely uh, works fine. The only way you're pulling this off is if you destroy the carpet in the process. So it'll work fine. Carpet was then rolled across the deck. It was squared up to make sure it was all nice and sitting right. It was rolled back up and then this corner here folded back over on top of itself. So the plan is to glue down the back here, fold the carpet back over and then continue to the front of the boat. Also this carpet came off Amazon. Originally I was gonna buy it from Lowe's um, they sell it there too. It's about the same price. The only problem is they say it'll take at least two weeks to get there And they didn't give you an actual date. They just said at least two weeks So it was a little too open-ended for me And it was also like pulling teeth trying to get anybody to actually place the order for the carpet And the overall experience wasn't that good considering I could just go on Amazon four clicks later and three days later Here's this roll of carpet. So that's the option I took It is a rubber backed marine carpet Quality is, I would say it's about average. It's not, it's not high dollar. You can see a little bit of voids to where they just painted the rubber backing over the carpet. It's, it's okay quality, I'd say. I think it's got a three or five year warranty with it, but I could be wrong on that. But it'll work fine, I think. So that's where I am. So now the father and I are gonna try to glue this down and we'll see how it goes. I want to see how much the carpet is going to fight us 
getting the wrinkles out. If we do too much, we won't be able to, you know what I mean? So if we do just a little bit and it comes out okay, we're in good shape. If we do a whole bunch and we, it fights us, can you move that bucket for me? No, no, this was in the new bucket. The old bucket didn't have them. The new bucket did. All right, first section is down. We pulled it a little bit to get the crease out of it. Now he's got a pipe. Theory is that'll kind of smooth it down. Let's let the expert do that. In fact, if he just did the whole thing, that'd be ideal. Is that working? Yeah. Of course. The glue doesn't go this far, so. Looks good. All right, everybody. It looks like the large PVC pipe acting as an iron is working. So check the link below for PVC pipe. <laughs> You guys see the plan there? Yep, so that's what we're doing. All right, you want me up there? Uh, I don't know whoever's going to roll it out. You want to roll it out? No. Who put that there? All right, what do you want to do, two feet? Yeah, you can do more now. Oh, no, 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 you can't do it that way. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise you're not going to be able to reach, you know? you got to kind of do... And all the way across as you go. Yeah, sure, I could. Yeah, you can see the color difference in the grass. Yeah, and you don't want any uh, any really thick spots, so any ridges, I should say. Yeah, and don't don't apply any pressure to the glue. Let the glue let as much glue sit there as possible. Yeah. No, no, get more glue. Don't do that. to fill in. If you do a foot at a time, it starts to dry from here. You know what I mean? When you can see see that much red through it, you, you, you don't have enough work. Now this is going to start to dry and all at once, you know, it'll dry at the same time in the same lineal. Um, yeah, I think you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. If you do like a foot over there, you got to come over here and do a foot. Don't do two feet and come back and try and do two feet over here. Yeah, 
Yeah, except like right there. Right there. Yeah, see all that tape showing through? A little too much too much red showing through. We could just keep going. Yeah, the only problem is this, that if we run into any trouble at all, here, we, we're screwed down here. So it's safer because I've, I have not done a whole hell of a lot of carpeting like this. To do a little bit at a time to make sure we do a good job. Because I would hate to have this thing rolled up to there and then have to try and peel back all the glue oh, to get the wrinkles out. Poor dry it. Well, that's, this is cute. Wait till you see this up against the walnut. Man, is this going to be rich. Spoiler for the camera. Is it on right now? Yeah. All right, next. Okay, now what I want you to do is Hold like this as you roll it down. There we go. Yeah. Roll, Bubba. Roll it. Okay, let's go. Come on, roll it. There you go. Okay. Push, push hard. <laughs> Good job. Hey, keep coming. Come on. Ooh. Go, baby. Well, folks, the carpet is down. The sides just need to be trimmed now. But we'll let it dry for a little while and then come back and do that. But that is a lot of carpet. And the carpet, I don't know if I mentioned it previously, but the carpet came folded in a box. That's why we kind of had that crease down the center. That big PVC pipe pushed it out no problem. You can see the indent of the carpet to where it was, but looking at it, there's no actual ridge. I mean, that carpet is as flat as you're getting. All right, carpet is down and dry enough, so uh, now all we got to do is trim out the edges. And, you know. And just so we're all on the same page, bought two gallons of this stuff. This is the carpet glue. And that's how much is left over. Uh, the Red Guard needed about a gallon and a half, and at 50 bucks a gallon, it's pretty expensive. But the carpet glue itself, it's like 12 bucks a gallon, so not a big deal. Well, we're no carpet laying experts, but I think that came out pretty well. You can still physically see the seam, but if you rub the carpet a little bit, it kind of goes away. I think it's just kind of matted a little bit where the fold was, so I think in a little bit of time it's going to go away on its own. And I was going to do or close this video with me putting on the railing or the side skirts as I've been calling them but that's they're kind of related with the uh, top rails or the sides the siding I don't know what you want to call that pretty sure they call them the rails so I think this is where I'm going to close this video the carpet came eight and a half feet wide there is 
don't know, four inches or so on each side left over. The problem was it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily cut very square. So that side was a factory edge. This side was cut. Also, so was the front and the back. So we only had one really straight factory edge to work with. The rest was your typical cut. Under the eight and a half by 20 version of the stuff, it came about eight and a half feet wide and about 20 feet and four or five inches. Luckily that four or five inches was there. If it was exactly at 20 feet and not having square corners, we would have had a problem because some of these corners you would have seen plywood. That was my biggest concern with ordering it online versus ordering it at a local store is you can order an extra foot so you don't have that problem. Online, you pretty much have four foot options. You know, 16 feet, 20 feet, 24 feet, etc. So carpet versus vinyl. Well, there's a few things to discuss here. One, I use exterior three quarter ply. You could argue exterior versus marine grade all day long. There is absolutely no debate. The marine grade plywood is far superior compared to the exterior, but I don't think it's worth the cost. Um, when I finish this boat, I plan on doing an overall discussion of what I think of pontoon boats, and we'll talk a little bit more about that then. But for now, exterior grade, I think it's going to work perfectly fine. It's better than what came out of here, by the way. So if the last stuff lasted for 30 years, I'm sure this will too. And I'd be surprised if I had this boat for another 30 years. So carpet versus vinyl. Every new pontoon boat I looked at after I bought this one, just to kind of see what the other options were out there for interior and options. Not a single one of them had carpet. Seems like the new thing to do is to go to vinyl. Vinyl, it does look nice, don't get me wrong. The problem is it should cost. It would have cost, if I did this in, you know, quality vinyl, not some flooring I picked up at Home Depot, but actual pontoon boat woven vinyl would have cost more than I paid for the boat. And I, I don't really think it's going to last that much longer than the carpet would anyway, so I didn't really think it was worth it. However, there is one more notable thing about carpet versus vinyl. I don't have any pets. If I had a dog that I took out with me, I'm pretty sure this thing would get full of dog hair in no time, and this stuff is a magnet for dog hair. So, if you're thinking about doing this, you might want to give that a thought if you have a dog and plan on taking the dog out on the boat with you. Sand, on the other hand, I don't know how it's going to do with sand. In theory, make sure you don't have sandy feet before you climb in the boat and you'll probably be fine. You'll have some, some little fine grains and particles, you know, on your clothing and or person, but once they dry, I think it'll vacuum out. I'll try to keep it clean the best I can, and every now and then vacuum it, and I should be fine. So this is the 44 cent or 50 cent a square foot stuff that you get at Home Depot. I've used this in a lot of boats because it's cheap, and when you destroy it, you don't really care because it's cheap. The problem with it is it is really, really cheap. This carpet is a little bit thicker, a little bit stronger, and these little ripples really give it some character. I think if I use this stuff, anybody that's ever done a project boat would look at this and say, oh, you use the cheapest stuff you could find. And it's, it's obvious that it's cheap. And the color, it's pretty, it's pretty boring. No matter what you put down on this carpet, it's going to make this carpet look junky. It, it's good for an office floor because, you know, the landlord doesn't care what you're looking at. But in a nice boat that you're going to have your friends and family in, I think spending another $100 on this stuff is probably a good idea. And lastly, tires, they're great at holding up pontoon boats, let me tell you. All right, everybody, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed my ranting there at the end. Uh, if you have any co thoughts, comments of anything I did wrong, right, I'd like to hear your opinion, so let me know. All right, everybody, next pontoon boat video, we should be able to get the railing on here and start putting in some interior. Seats, I mean.